along with Ryan McBee. Boston's going to counter with Dania, Lawrence, and McHale. So they also go two forwards and deep. And now here comes Brett Olsen against Lawrence. Lawrence gets a stick into the midsection. Olsen's hanging on to it as McBee at the point. We'll now give it to Smith. Smith looking for the winner. It's a play. They score! Olsen on the tip. Off the shot from Alex Smith and Team Brick Alberta. Celebrate as they win this hockey game, 1-0. 23 seconds into overtime. A harmless looking shot that gets redirected, finds its way past the screen, Mertz and Team Brick Alberta, a much needed win, they move to three and one. The Bruins side takes it in behind the net, Chapman standing in front, gets it back to the high slot to Granberg with the shot and a pad saved by Fawaz. Off the draw, Chapman gets it into the corner, then chases after it himself with Pecora. Pecora backhands it to center ice. Here's a chance for Monks. Monks going in all alone, shoots, scores! As uh, Dania now will try and skate this puck out of uh, Boston territory. He's stripped up. No call. How's there no call? The shot. Oh, and a big pad save there by Solnier. <laughs> that was unbelievable. As Boston, their bench would have just lost their marbles. Yelling to give him a stick. Now a stretch pass for Boudelier. He's sprung. Thompson's got to get back on him. One on one. Boudelier, skate to stick. No, couldn't quite. Uh, Get it there, and now Manitoba back the other way. Lawrence almost overcommitted. Could be a two-on-one. Jacobson and Malmquist. Jacobson saucing it across. Malmquist couldn't quite get his body around the puck. Now Manitoba goes with one forward, one D, and Boston will go with two forwards. They're going to go with Boudelier and Bent, and already Bent is having to play defense. Deschamps dishes for Jacobson. He's going to step back to Deschamps. They score on the two-on-zero break. Deschamps finishes it off as he got the nifty feed from Jacobson, and Manitoba will prevail and win in double overtime by a score of five to four. And they will cap off the round robin, finishing it off with a record of four and two. In there battling for it, and it comes out to Salandra. Salandra forced into the corner on a nice job by McLaughlin. Send it out in front, there's a shot, they score! Ended up uh, trusting that puck wasn't going to hop over his stick there. And now the Bulldogs will run the double swing breakout here on the power play as they have two stretch guys. Nice job working it Perfect. out there. It Passing. is Edwards. Three on two for the Bulldogs over the line. Edwards will slow it down now. He uh, kicks it back to K-Way Ja. He will move it D to D to Bray. Bray lets the wrister go right up. He scores! The Bulldogs win it again in overtime. It looked to be number 54. June Bray from the point. Lender fly in a D, and once again they win in OT. Just exactly what we were talking about. You would never know what shot is going to find its way through to the back of the net. What a feeling that is uh, never going to go away for Jude Bray as he scores the GWG in overtime at the Brick Tournament.